Hello guys and welcome to another tutorial on Northwest Trees Gaming and today I am going to show you how to make some ore with uh, M Crater. So we're going to be doing two different types of ore. The first one we're going to be working on is kind of like an ignit form. I'm going to try explaining the settings as best as I can. And um, also to speed, some, speed the tutorial up I'm going to also link down to another tutorial that I've worked on uh, for blocks. So you guys can kind of get the idea of how blocks work perfectly fine. So I suggest going watching that video first before moving on to ore. Um, as far as items and stuff like that, I think I need to cover all those settings. But uh, outside of that, you're going to need two different types of textures. You're going to need an ingot form or a item form as well as an ore form of some, some type. So the next thing that we want to do is we're going to start with the ingots and we're going to go and create a item. We're going to call it uh, whatever you want for your mod element name. Now this isn't the name that it's going to be showing. It's just the mod ID or element ID. So orange or text and then uh, for items, you want to select your texture. If you have a 3D model, you want to select your model from here. If you want to add lore text, then you can add lore text here. If it glows like an enchanted item, you can select this box here. I'm going to select the ignit form. And then the GUI name is for um, basically the name that you, when you hover over the item, it shows what name the item is. So we want to set this to orange vortex ingot. And now ore is generally under miscellaneous where resources and stuff are, so we can just leave that. The stack size is how much can stack in a per item or per stack, so maximum is 64. I think you can go down to one or zero. I don't know. Uh, apparently zero is a thing. Uh, leaving at 64 is just fine. Enchantability is basically for if you want how if it's a tool or whatever it's enchantability for how good the enchantments are. So if you want to make a tool out of it then you can select all these settings down here. Uh, for the most part um, you don't need to worry about this. Uh, this is just setting what kind of tool the max uh, item duration and uh, the item damage count. So all this is pretty much fine. If you want to, to destroy any type of block, you can check this box. If you want it to stay in the crafting grid, you can do that. Or if you want it to drop as grass seed, or as well as with grass seed when you destroy grass, and you can select that box as well. So events, we don't need to worry about that and we can click next. Now we need to create the ore. So again, um, definitely go back and watch the tutorial for how to create a block. And we want to select the blue square. All these settings are fine. We want to give it a GUI name. And all these settings outside of this. And we're going to allow it be a stone pickaxe so again this is important for your harvest level so harvest level is basically the tier of item that you want so zero is hand and uh, wood tools one is stone two is iron three is diamond so we're just going to set it to one leave it at that sound on step is basically what it will sound like when you walk on it uh, we set that to stone uh, we don't need it to have silk touch, that's not required. Uh, pickaxe is fine. All right, so once all these settings are set up, now I'll leave the uh, link to the hardness and resistance in the description where you guys can uh, visit the Minecraft wiki page for um, a full list of blocks and their hardness and, and blast resistance. So uh, if you need help with that, then just select that. Uh, in the description. So we're just going to go to the end and under block spawning and generation settings we need to enable it by adding the plus icon, selecting surface, 
and we're going to just increase the ratio. So basically what all this does is when you select your surface, you can restrict it to a specific type of block to replace. Uh, in our case, we're using a stone material for our ore, so we can select just stone or leave it to the de default, or we can add on to it, say we wanted um, andersite as well. So we can add on to it or we can just keep it as uh, stone. And um, restrict to spawning per biome. Now these two settings right here are basically for restricting it for a specific biome. This is going to be acting very similar to how emeralds work. Uh, you can only find emeralds in extreme hill biomes um, or if you trade with villagers, but that's a different story. Um, yeah, you just need to check that and select what kind of biome you want to um, select it under. Uh, you may want to select multiple ones. There's mutated as well. So if you say you want a plains biome uh, up here, then you might want to select the mutated plains as well, just so it spawns in all plain biome. Uh, average amount of ore per ore group per chunk. Now this is how many the average amount of veins that will generate in per chunk. So 10 is about 10 average. Uh, it can be a little bit less, it can be a little bit more. Uh, that goes for both of these settings down here. But um, the overall amount of ore is, um, like diamond would be one and I think about eight. So that would be about the average for diamond ore. Um, now the other setting is number, average number of ores in group. So this is how many blocks are going to spawn in a vein. So for example, diamond usually has eight. Alright, so the next thing is minimum and maximum height. So your minimum height is this uh, teal green uh, little bobble here. As you can see, the minimum height changes while we raise it and lower it. Uh, we can set the number to 10 or whatever we want. The maximum height is this uh, blue one right here. If we want to, say, spawn it all the way at the top of the world, then we can select that. And all that's good. So anywhere between these two numbers is going to be where the ore is going to spawn. So we're just going to click next, and now we need to make a recipe. Go with ore and vortex. And then we want to create a smelting recipe. We're going to select our ore up here. We're going to select our ignit. And we're going to select um, our smelting XP. Now we can figure this out from another wiki page. I'll leave that in the description as well so you guys can um, figure out how much XP you want to give your people. If you want to stick to the Minecraft code or maybe customize it so it's a little bit more XP or whatever, you can select uh, the wiki page in the link in the description and uh, you can kind of learn how it all set up, how it, it is all set up with uh, vanilla Minecraft. So once you have that, you can just click next and that's how you basically make a inknet. What you need to do is create your item first. So we're going to go blue vortex item and we're going to select our texture and again we've already went through all this so we don't need to worry about too much and click next click next we created our item and we want to go to block and then we want to go and create blue vortex or we're going to select our blue t vortex or 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 texture all this is fine and we want to set it to stone that's fine. We want it to be a bit um, affected by silk touch and we don't want it to drop itself. We're going to select our item we just created and then we want to click next, 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 next and again enable it by selecting whatever dimension you want it to generate in and then you want to select your height level and I'm just going to set this to a really high number and 16 
and save. So basically what that will do is create a item that is like diamond, where when you break it, it drops an item rather than the uh, actual ore form. Now if you're running into issues with this particular model here, uh, like this, check that box for it doesn't drop itself and you can select the ore itself after you made it. And you can go over and compile it again. I'm actually going to set this to 10 again and 16 and save. And then we'll hop in game and then we'll take a look at how everything's set up. So just give us a second. It's all compiled. We can start up the game now. And the first thing that we want to do is try finding our ore. Uh, you can try digging into a cave or you can try finding a cave depending on what your seed looks like might vary on the difficulty of finding the ore. Uh, in my case it's a little bit harder because there isn't really much cave systems around here. Um, and we're on an island so <laughs> again that wouldn't be the best scenario to try finding our ore so we're just going to have to dig down until we reach a cave. Uh, that's why you want to do it in creative so it's a little bit easier to find the ore itself. Okay, so we, we found our blue one. Let's see if we can't continue digging down until we find... Okay, we got blue and orange right here. Perfect. So, uh, now we know that both of these spawn. That's perfectly fine. And we can set game... Or set our option difficulty to peaceful so I don't die. I'm going to select a... Wooden pickaxe and a stone pickaxe, as well as an iron pickaxe. And then what we're going to do is go and place down a furnace. And we want some coal for that. And then we want to go into game mode zero. We're going to try mining this blue ore with just a wooden pickaxe. And it didn't drop anything, so we're going to try with stone now. As it's, as you can see, it drops um, the item itself. So that works fine. We don't need to worry about testing that more. So we're going to test with the orange vortex ore, or our second ore, with a wooden one basically just destroys it so we're gonna try it with stone now and it drops our particular ore that we need and as you can see the veins are random so the blue actually had a little bit more of the average size of a particular vein that it would generate in about 16 however it can be in smaller quantities as well as a little bit larger quantities as well so just keep that in mind when you're creating your um, your ore as well. So you don't want it too overpowered, so you might want to play around with your settings a little bit. Test it, give it a feel. So we're just going to smelt this and see if um, it gives us the proper item. We're just going to let it do one cycle, and then we're going to take it out. And as you can see, we got a little bit of XP from it, so that works fine. And other than that, that's basically how you make custom ore. Hopefully you found this tutorial helpful. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. Um, I do a lot of other uh, M Creator tutorials and stuff, so definitely tune in for that. And uh, hopefully I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.